Now this is a suspension bridge that is located between Wolf Park, which is just behind me, and Academy Park, which is coming up. This suspension bridge was uh, rebuilt or refurbished back in April of 2013 to about February of 2014. The cost was around $520,000. And believe it or not, a few of the bolts, actually most of the bolts, are already rusting. Now this next place to the right here is Academy Park. They have uh, lots of softball games that go on here. There's also an indoor facility that uh, you can use. Today we're going from the bridge. Hopefully the film will make it all the way down to Three Creeks Park. Now on my right here happens to be Kroger's and dead ahead in front of us here in a second is Livingston Avenue. If you could cross right here straight ahead you would continue on Allen Creek Trail but unfortunately there's not a good way to get across. Left. Got lucky there. Normally I have to wait like three minutes. On the left here is Life Church. They moved in, I don't know, six months or so ago. And uh, on weekends it's packed. On the right, you would be able to get up onto 70 because this happens to be uh, Allen Creek. Crimson Cup was on the right here. If you haven't uh, seen who they are, check them out on the web. Today is September the 23rd, uh, we're probably around noon, and last check it was 58 degrees. Now, where this guy is sitting here, this is typically a bad area, and you need to be aware that uh, the homeless tends to hang out here. Um, a lot of drunkards come through here. This, this whole area right here. There is one documented case of the knockout game happening right in this area. 
so please be careful right here. Other than that, this is Livingston Avenue. There's a homeless person hanging out under the bridge of Livingston Avenue right now. I just saw him down there with his things. So, as I said, this area you need to be careful about. around this bend on the left side there's a bridge that will take you across Allen Creek and it takes you over the JCC it's a great shortcut if you want to get over to that part of town section right we just passed that was one of the flood areas that we had back in June it was uh, five feet underwater I have a nice video a couple of shots of some guy trying to get across it went up to his knees on his bike and he turned around fortunately I wasn't on video at the moment so uh, I got a couple stills and uh, the water, actually, as we were around this bend, went up on to this part right here. So this was actually slightly underwater. Great fishing back there. And great fishing here on the left side, behind these bushes. There's a couple of spots you can sneak down. One we just passed. There's another one up ahead yet. Yeah, I've stuck my head down there. There's, I don't know, a little bit of everything. And because hardly nobody's down there, fish are pretty large. So take advantage of it if you're watching this and you like to fish.
Now we're going to go under 70 here and occasionally get mud underneath this bridge. Isn't a lot, but uh, if the other area which we've already passed is underwater, this uh, is probably muddy. You'll have to go up this little hill. It's actually not that difficult. Just switch gears down a little bit and you're fine. Crossing Allen Creek. Coming up on the left here is 33, which will take you on down to Lancaster. this traffic light that happens to be Petzinger. Now, underneath this railroad bridge, it's extremely narrow, and I've almost been hit twice going through here. So please be careful, don't think you can ride real fast through here. You can see it's the third person coming the other direction you can't see. But there's nobody here today, so not a big deal. This does happen to be a Tuesday, so there's not a lot of people on the trail today. Typically around this bend, if you're lucky, you'll catch some deer. They love to hang out in this particular area because it's open yet it's secluded. I don't see any today. But you never know what creatures we're going to run into as we go through here. Uh, my last trip I got a snake. It's kind of neat. And uh, time before, let's see, I had a raccoon that was two feet from the trail itself and didn't even bother to move when I went by. I think I have that film somewhere. But they like this area.
Now this next bridge we're going to go under, this is 104, and uh, it floods all the time. So if you get any real rain here in Columbus, you're going to be stopping right about here. And I'm going to try and angle a little bit. So there's the road close sign, and it floods up through here. Uh-oh. And you got a pretty steep hill coming up once you go underneath there. Now, a couple of weeks ago, they had some problems with that bridge. And they went to repair it. And obviously, they're not done yet. You can go right if you want. It just takes you to Alum Creek. There's really nothing there. I've taken it out. It's about half a mile out until you get to Alum Creek. But there's basically nothing. Other than a great shot of the bridge if you want to go across the, the creek again. Now this happens to be Oxbow Loop and they want everybody going one way. Can't really blame them. Uh, they're going this way. We're going to go down a pretty steep hill. But it actually loops all the way around. And if you want to do a good workout, this is actually a really good place to do it. Because you get a long, steady uphill climb on the other side. And we'll hook to the right here. The left will take you on the loop. Now this is going to open up here in a minute. Nice open farming area. All this uh, coming up used to be part of Lot Smith's farm. I don't remember exactly how many acres they have, but uh, they sold it all to the city of Columbus and the parks and recreation area. So they all own all this. And I'm sure they sublet it out to farming because I see some corn on the left side. On the right side, you're going right along Alum Creek.
Yeah, for those keeping score, we've already done uh, about six miles. So that was mile marker three, and it's about nine miles up to the bridge. Now this particular road here is kind of dangerous, so you gotta make sure that you don't try and cheat it. Nobody coming. Don't forget to subscribe.